Today, uh, my objective is to connect this Eve plug with the SmartThings app. And in order to do that, I need to first connect it with this Gen 4 Echo device that I purchased. This device has a thread border router and a thread border router is necessary because on the version 2 SmartThings hub, the 2015 hub, there is no built-in thread border router. Now if you have a SmartThings version 3 hub or if you have an AOTech hub or if you have the SmartThings station, then those have a built-in thread border router. If you look at the box here, it says works with SmartThings hub v3 and SmartThings Station. It also would work with the AOTech SmartThings Hub. So those three have a built-in thread border router. The SmartThings version 2 hub does not. So you need to establish a thread network by purchasing a device that has a built-in thread border router. Many of the Echo devices have it. The Google Home devices, the Nest Hub Gen 2, the Nest Hub Max, and the Nest Wi-Fi Pro. They all have thread border routers. And of course, the Apple devices, Apple TVs, Apple HomePod Gen 2, and HomePod Mini, they all have thread border routers. So because I do not have a thread border router in my SmartThings Hub, I'm using this to establish a thread border router. Once that's established, then I should be able to connect this plug, which is a HomeKit plug, with smart things via matter or via the thread border router rather. So let's go ahead and add this device into the Miss A app. Now, if I scroll over way to the side, you're, you're gonna see this matter device here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's asking uh, does your device have a matter logo? It does right on the plug, as you can see here. So I'm gonna say yes, and we're gonna scan that code in there. So we'll hit scan QR code. It found that, it says looking for device. Let's go ahead and plug this device in. All right, it flashes red once, then it turns green. It says connecting to your device. This may take up to a minute. Now, in testing, I've had to do this several times to get it to find, but it seems like it's finding it uh, right away, connecting your device to the network. So that's a good sign. It doesn't normally go there that quickly. Once this device connects to the network, we'll be able to go into the device and we'll be able to share it uh, with other services. So Alexa is getting your device ready. This may take up to one minute. So don't be surprised when you try to connect it. Okay, it says new plug name, first plug found. So we'll hit next and we'll look for that device. So I'm gonna go over here and look at all devices and we'll look for that first plug. Okay, here it is right here. So we'll click on first plug and we'll test that. You see, hopefully you can see the green light on here. We'll turn it off and I'm going to turn it back on. It's a little laggy in the Miss A app. Let's connect it with SmartThings, see if it performs better. So to connect it, you hit this settings call up here. And then you'll see it says other assistants and apps. Change which other assistants and apps can control this device. So we'll click on that. Uh, then we'll click on the plus sign to add another. And it's creating a setup code. We're going to copy that code. That code has been copied. I'm going to hit done. And then I'm going to move over to my SmartThings app. I'm going to hit add a device. And I'm going to choose other methods. Use the numeric setup code. So we're going to enter the code here. I'm just going to paste that in there and hit OK. All right, so it says processing. Yep, we'll accept my hub, my version 2 2015 SmartThings hub. 
All right, it says preparing. Now it says to connect to a matter device, you need to add it to iCloud. The smart thing setup process will start after you add the device to iCloud. So we'll hit the add to iCloud account down here. Connecting to accessory, this may take a few minutes. Fingers crossed this will work on first try. All right, so we'll hit continue and then done. And it says connecting to your Eve Energy US and Canada. Make sure that your Eve Energy and mobile are near each other so they can connect. So it appears it's been connected. It says registering with uh, Smart Things Samsung account. Successfully connected. Success. Good. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to just Eve plug. All right. And we're going to change the room to studio. That's where we are now. And I'm going to hit done. All right. So going back out. You see down here, this is the Eve Energy. I'm going to hit the on. So it's, or that's off, on. So if you can see down here, it's very responsive. So evidently I have a, a matter network established. And uh, go into this plug, I want to show you a few of the settings here. So one thing you can do once it's in here is share with other services. So if we click on that, it shows which other services you have available. So if, for instance, you would have Google Nest or some other hubs that are Matter compatible, they would show up in here and you could share the device. If you click share device, you will see that it gives you a QR code and a Matter code that you could share with those other devices. So I'm going to cancel that sharing request. I don't want to go there right now. Let's also go into settings and look at the driver information. You see driver listed in the box. So it uses the matter switch to connect to smart things. And it's finding that matter switch on the smart things drivers beta channel. So most of <clears throat> the hub should have the smart things drivers beta channel installed that's the default driver channel where a lot of the drivers come from so it automatically found the matter switch in there so that's all good and the plug appears to be very responsive and working fine now connected within the smart things ecosystem so it's pretty cool that you can take a home kit plug and uh, connect that with smart things uh, so it appears we got that setup complete and hopefully you found this very helpful. So the takeaway is if you have a version 2 Samsung SmartThings hub, you do need another device to establish a thread network and that device has to have a built-in thread border router and that's necessary because the Samsung SmartThings V2 hub does not have a built-in thread border router. Again, if you have SmartThings version 3 hub or the AOTech hub or the smart thing station those hubs do have the thread border router so it is not necessary to establish it using a different device hopefully you found this helpful if you did appreciate the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed take the opportunity to do so appreciate you joining me today and we'll see you next time keep automating god bless this is the future